The following is a paid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Hi everyone, I'm Fernand the Carved Sacker and welcome to the Kickstarter preview to Overtime. This is a card game where you're an office worker trying to complete all your assignments so you can get home early before everyone else does. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and then at the end give my initial thoughts. Overtime is a card game for 3-6 to six players in about 30 minutes. As an office worker, your ultimate goal is to complete your 5 assignments before the end of the day. You're also competing with your co-workers to see who can get the job done first. To complete an assignment, you'll need to play cards to fulfill check marks. However, working in an office environment is a tedious and tiring job. By playing cards, you'll get snooze tokens which will draw back some of your actions and slow down your progress to complete your assignments. The more tired you are, the more likely you're going to snooze off on the job. Get too many snooze tokens and you might just pass out, skipping your turns. On the bright side, there are some cards to help you out. You can switch your style of work with employee cards. They may even help you keep on task despite your snoozing and some can allow you to do more actions on your turn. You can take a coffee break to remove some snooze tokens, but you must beware of reaction cards played by other players. The boss might be eyeing on you or maybe the coffee maker is out of order. Every round the clock moves forward and everyone gets more snooze tokens as the time passes by. You can't always be snoozing off or cause havoc for the other players. If not a single person does not finish their assignment before the last round ends, all players lose. Now first of all, over time it's not just a game about trying to wreak havoc on your co-workers or try to play the cards that best suited yourself, but it's also a game that you want to really stay focused on on those assignments. And as you get snooze tokens, you'll get more sleepier, and then if you get too many, then you're going to lose turns. But you have to play the cards right and trying to get in the way so you can finally finish those assignments and go home early. Uh, as much as there are a lot of cards you can play for yourself and try to complete those assignments and that makes you sleepy, <laughs> uh, you have to be watching out for these reaction cards as well. And I think they have a really interesting system of cards that you can react to. So when a player, when a player plays one of their uh, cards as an action, players can jump in and try to uh kind of negate those cards, but and then you can also play cards on top of that. But um each player can target a card from that um, action card or they can also react to the cards that are reacting to those cards so it kind of builds up the stepping strategies uh, trying to you know which card should I go out first and they kind of develop over there um, and of course the cards that are played last will ultimately be resolved first. Now there's as much as you want to play cards to complete your assignment and there's much of cards that you want to play on your co-workers so they can't really benefit from you're trying to want to stay awake and there are cards that do that. Sometimes cards will take away a few snooze tokens. Sometimes there's cards that get rid of people's snooze tokens. But it's all about playing those kind of cards in this type of game. And the last thing I do want to note is that I really dig the art of the game. So um, this is just one of the examples of because of the box over it. It's going to be the same for most of the cards in the game. I believe maybe all the cards. But I do like it. It's kind of remind me of maybe a comic strip kind of thing. Uh, I think it certainly does fit the theme in there. And, you know, it's uh, kind of like this, you know, really quick comic-like uh, illustrations. And so that was Overtime. Uh, this is a game that I enjoy and I think it has hilarious gameplay and really funny art. So uh, this is a game that is on Kickstarter right now. You can go ahead and go to the link in the description below to see if there's something that you like to support. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on boarding card games. This is the Cardboard Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.